So, uh, the New Mutants has just come out, and uh, it is a freaking miracle because this movie has been, like, going through, like, a whole bunch of tri turbulence or whatever since, like, 2017. So the fact that this movie is even released is just astounding to me. If you don't know the history behind this movie, just, like, go research it because, my goodness. So, anyway, uh, New Mutants, as far as I can see, is, like, an X-Men movie, but, like, if you throw some horror elements in it, into it, and, uh, at first, I was very intrigued by this premise, however, this movie really disappointed me in that aspect, because I thought it was gonna be like, oh, damn, it's hella scary with, like, mutant powers and crap like that, but, like, no. It's basically, like, a cliche, um, horror movie with like teenagers run around in like a hospital or whatever and that's basically it it's not really too much else superpowers are there but they're sort of like an accessory more than anything else so the movie focuses on the main chick whose name i don't remember because who cares honestly and she has superpowers which is basically uh causing people to like hallucinate their like most terrible imaginations or whatever Kind of a dumbass power, but that's what it is. Uh, also, that is spoilers because that's the point of the whole movie. It's dumb. You'll f if you watch the movie, you'll figure it out in like a couple minutes. And uh, you know she has powers, and then like she goes to this hospital to try to like cure herself or whatever. And then there's like five other patients in the hospital. All of them are like teenagers, and uh, this is probably the worst hospital I've ever seen in my life. Because uh, there's, like, not one light. It's dark as hell in that hospital. But also, uh, it is sketchy AF in that hospital. Because there's, like, crap ton of doctors with five patients. Like, what kind of hospital is this? Like, she should have known that this was, like, some something was going on in this hospital. If it'd be looking so damn sketchy. But she's stupid, so I guess she doesn't notice. And uh, the characters in this movie are cliche as hell. If you've ever seen a teen movie, you've seen this movie, trust me. Like, we got, like, the asshole dude, we got the bitch, and then we have, like, you know, the nice girl with, like, ter terrible powers. You've seen this before, it's like, meh, whatever, who cares? If, seen, if you've seen, like, Mean Girls, you've seen this. Honestly, if you've watched any of the trailers, you've basically seen the, have seen this movie. Like, the trailers give, like, most of the story away, as it is, and... Honestly, I'm really disappointed, like, in the fact that this movie just feels really underdeveloped and kind of crappy for such an awesome premise. Like, imagine a superhero movie, but that's also horror. That sounds like a dope-ass premise, but every time that they've attempted it, it has gone severely downhill. Honestly, I'm still surprised that this movie came out, but it is mediocre at best <laughs> so honestly go watch literally anything else this weekend if you go into the theaters if you aren't uh, you know stay safe uh, wear a mask you know wipe your butthole all that and uh you know go watch bill and ted or tenant or whatever instead of this trust me and uh thank you for watching goodbye